Happy Thursday, everyone. Yes, it is Thursday. It is the 25th day of April, and today we have a feast day of the church, and that of St. Mark, the evangelist. So I'll just be reading from our gospel today, and obviously it's going to come from St. Mark's gospel, chapter 16, beginning with verse 15. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up certain serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Well, today as we celebrate his feast of St. Mark, who we attribute, of course, to the authorship of Scripture's first and probably the oldest gospel, Mark's gospel ends with this famous Great Commission, that is, Jesus' instruction for the disciples to go into the whole world, proclaim the gospel to every creature, Interestingly, Mark was not one of the men commissioned by Jesus at this moment. He was not one of the original 12. Yet, nevertheless, he became a preacher of immense influence, especially through his writing. Mark wrote extensively of the miraculous signs of Jesus that he mentions in our gospel today, driving out demons, speaking new languages, even picking up serpents and being unharmed by poisonous drink. These signs serve to show the power of God and their nature as directed toward the healing or good of God's people. As with Mark, our own ministry must be accompanied by signs or what we might be more accurately called works of mercy. For example, we can pray for healing for a sick friend or a relative, or if possible, provide companionship to someone who is lonely or ill. Outward signs of love for those around us serve as the manifestation of our faith in Jesus. We, too, are commissioned to live the good news of Jesus everywhere we go. Mark did so with his gift of the written gospel. Our own gifts, accompanied by miraculous or ordinary signs, bear God's love to the world. We'll celebrate this great feast today of St. Mark today. Continue to pray for one another and listening to those beautiful words of Jesus. Let's continue to proclaim that good news to all those we encounter. God bless you. Take care.